hook them to a trail at Deer Park Monastery, which is where I currently am right now. And Mike is home at Empty Mountain. So I don't know if this will make it on the Empty Mountain channel or not. Um, oh, no. Here we go. But I thought I'd take a video just because uh, I kind of operate on inspiration when it comes to videos. <laughs> Taking videos. It's like inspiration arises and I'm just like, how about I just take a video and see what happens. So I'm here at Deer Park, and uh, it's Monday, October 14th, and it is common practice at Deer Park Monastery and other monasteries in our tradition, the Plum Village tradition, um, where Mondays are lazy days. And what that means is that there's no schedule except for meals, of which I am missing currently breakfast. I decided to go on a solo hike instead up to what is often called Helen's Rock and so I just hung out there for a little bit and now I am traversing back maybe to where I'm heading <laughs> and this is kind of what inspired me to take the video so um, there's a main road that I took to get up to Helen's Rock. And there's a number of different trails uh, encircling Deer Park Monastery because like there's a lot of wild wilderness landscape around Deer Park which is one of the big draws here I think too is just um, it's like really close to the town of Escondido um, but then it just also has I forget how many acres, just a lot of acreage around it that's just undeveloped. Uh, and around these parts it's called chaparral, like the landscape is considered like chaparral. It's a lot of like, uh, you know, sort of scrub bushes and some trees, but not a lot of trees, like big trees, not a lot of big trees, but some oaks, um, but a lot of low-lying life, a lot of cool stuff around here. I love seeing the different uh, foliage and uh, plant life and things that grow in different locations in this place is super cool um, But so instead of taking the main trail back from whence I came <laughs> um, I decided to take this offshoot trail Which I think will loop me back to where I'm going <laughs> although I'm only like 75% sure and what was uh, kind of striking me as I was walking was that I've just gotten a lot more comfortable especially over the last three three years once we sold our house in Missoula and sort of took this giant leap into the unknown because um, we sold our house before we had land like to buy like we sold the house first and then we're like wow we hope we find land somewhere and fortunately we did and now we have you know the slow starts of empty mountain um, but I'm not great with just like the unknown. <laughs> I'm a big planner and a big organizer and I like to know what's coming. <laughs> but I've gotten some really uh, next level training over these last three years of just being like, well, something will happen. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm on this trail and I'm like, well, it's going somewhere. Clearly I'm on a trail and it's going somewhere. And it's going in the direction of <laughs> where I, where I want to be ultimately um, but there's a chance that this goes somewhere else also and it's like well if that's the case then I'll just you know follow the trail back uh, and I know it goes back to the main trail where I know that will take me home you know <laughs> so um, but especially like you know spending the summer months the three months solo at Empty Mountain like I feel like it's really built up some extra uh, strength um, and certain qualities that I've been interested in developing and so I'm just like seeing those kind of in action here um, which is kind of neat to see so I'm just like well you know in the past I don't think I would have taken this trail on my own and been like I don't know where it goes I think I'll just follow it like that's not really something I would do <laughs> 
like if it was if if I was with someone else, sure, you know, but it was just just me left to my own devices. That's not really something I uh, would choose to do. So um, anyway, it's it's really misty as you can see, um, and uh, which also means like I don't I can't get my bearings even if you know there's some overlooks and stuff, but it's not like I could see. <laughs> Uh, where I'm at in location to the monastery specifically anyway, but it's man. It's so nice out right now. It's really Lovely and quiet And I'm really enjoying this uh, time this morning on the trail Interestingly one of the difficulties for me at Deer Park One of the challenges for me here at Deer Park is um, the same thing that I'm nourished by here, which is the community. I love being part of a practice community here. And it also means that like there's zero privacy kind of here. Um, and there's just people around all the time and I don't enjoy that. Uh, like I really need my own space and time and like yeah, it's hard to get that here. And like, despite what people often think when they think of a monastery, which makes good sense, is that, uh, you know, it's always quiet. Um, it's rarely quiet um, at Deer Park. And what I mean by that is just there's a lot of social talking. And I just like really love sharing silence with people and like practices that are, like I love Dharma sharing because it's like an intentional sharing group. I love silent meals. I love sitting, walking in silence with people. But like, there's so much social chatter in between all of that. And like the noble silence period is really short here. It's just like in the evening at bedtime until after breakfast. And so like, Nicole would love for there to be way more noble silence. <laughs> so I do a lot of, I spend a lot of time really guarding my energy so that I'm not like constantly expending energy in like small chit chat sort of ways, which I just don't do that much for me. Um, you know, I really enjoy one-on-one, -on -one, you know, friend dates, you know, heart to heart, you know, just like real sharing, but like social chit chat, social passing kind of stuff is, does very little for me. Um, and there's just a lot of that here. There's a lot of people coming and going. Um, so it can be a challenge for me to just kind of get the space and the time and the, um, yeah, sort of private space that I can look for. So I've done this trail one other time with somebody and they led me up to Helen's Rock. This doesn't look familiar at all. <laughs> did that but that's cool <laughs> again clearly it's a trail <laughs> it's going somewhere <laughs> so Nicole's going somewhere maybe this will be her last chronicle <laughs> super kidding it's not like there's bears out here or anything <laughs> uh, so I think I'm all right <laughs> I did tell someone where I was going, so that's important. Solo traveling, one-on-one, -on -one etiquette. Tell someone where you're going. Okay, well, the journey continues, friends, and uh, this makes it on the Empty Mountain Channel. Thanks for tuning in. I return home to Empty Mountain in a few days, and I reckon we'll have at least one or two more videos um, before we head back here <laughs> to Deer Park. I'll, I'll, I'll fly home and then Mike and I will drive here three weeks later to spend the winter months. So there's that. Uh-oh. We've come across... <laughs> All right. What's this trail go to? 
Now she's at a fork in the road. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Directionally speaking, and I am directionally challenged, uh, this way does not make sense to me as far as heading back to the monastery. So I go this way? Oh dear. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah, she's going to go this way. Wish me luck. 